thought we told you not to bring that mouse around here no more. Now, we're gonna have to bury her. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Aaron Rutten, and it is my mission to help artists like you enjoy digital art and learn some new skills along the way. That's why today we're gonna to be comparing three different kinds of common mouse styles to see which one performs best for digital art and other creative tasks. Before we get started, click that subscribe button and use the bell icon to enable notifications. That way you don't miss a single new video. The three mouse styles that we're gonna be comparing today are your traditional mouse, a trackball mouse that uses your index finger, and a trackball mouse that uses your thumb. I do also want to mention that this is not a sponsored video, but I did reach out to Logitech and they sent me the MX Ergo mouse to review. These other two mice I bought with my own money. So first let's start by talking about the pros and cons of each mouse style. First let's start with the traditional mouse. Most of you have probably used this style mouse. This is something that everyone is familiar with, so that's a pro. People have experience with it, you don't have to learn something new in order to be able to navigate your computer. I would say overall, it's probably the best of the three mouse styles that I'll be reviewing today for doing hand drawing on your computer. It also has very accurate clicking because you're using your index finger, it's got a nice scroll wheel, and it's wireless. But now we get to the cons. It requires a certain amount of desk space because you have to be able to move it around like this. It also requires a lot more effort on your part to move your entire arm around when you want to navigate. And even when you're doing that, it's still not a super accurate mouse. These optical ones are much better than the older ones that had the little ball inside that would get clogged with gunk, but they still aren't a super accurate pointing device. And they're definitely not ergonomic. You will get a lot of fatigue using this style mouse and it can cause all kinds of cramps and problems in your arm, so definitely not the best mouse. And I know you're probably thinking, great, you just showed me how to use a mouse, but this is gonna kinda set a baseline that we can compare to the other mice that we'll be taking a look at. This is the Logitech TrackMan Marble Mouse and you use your index finger to move this ball around, which in turn moves your mouse cursor around. There are two buttons on either side of the mouse that you can use for left click and right click. The pros of this style of mouse are that it's easy to control with your index finger. You can get really precise movements. You can also move it very quickly by kind of swiping the ball back and forth like this. The fact that you don't have to move the whole thing around your desk takes up less space. It's also more ergonomic because all you have to really do is just move your finger like this. You're not moving your entire arm. The cons of this particular style of mouse are that it can be kind of difficult for beginners to use. I have a lot of people who have come over to my house and have tried my mouse and they're like, what? You have to control it with your finger? And it just really isn't that intuitive when you first pick it up. But after a while, after you practice, it's great. When you're using this style mouse, you're navigating with your finger and you're clicking with your thumb, the connection in your brain that goes to your index finger is more responsive than your thumb, or so they say. That's why when people are timing athletes, they don't use their thumb for the stopwatch, they use the index finger. So for that reason, I would say that the clicking is a little less accurate. If you're trying to click right on cue very, very quickly, there might be a tiny, tiny bit of delay between your thumb and your index finger. However, as we'll look at later, I find that it's kind of a trade-off because the index finger is much easier to control fine movements like pointing rather than the thumb. This is really not very easy to use for hand drawing art. You can only draw with your finger and you might think that that's pretty easy, but once you try it, it's actually quite difficult. Another con is that this trackball can come out and it can get lost, but also there's a gunk that builds up in here and you have to kind of scrape it off and remove it. Otherwise the trackball gets a little bit stuck and it slows down, so you periodically have to clean it out. This particular model is also a wired connection, so I have to have it plugged into USB not as convenient as the other two options, which are wireless. Now this is kind of an older style of mouse that's been around for a while. I've actually gone through three of these and I've had to buy a new one every six years. So I've been using this style of mouse for a long time now. I'm pretty satisfied with it. So I'll add another con, which is this might eventually be out of stock and I might not ever be able to get another one. Next, we'll take a look at the thumb style trackball. You're navigating with your thumb rather than your index finger. This is the Logitech MX Ergo. This is one of their newer mice, and as I mentioned earlier, they sent this to me to review. Now at first I was like, sweet, they have a new trackball mouse, that's awesome, but then I saw that you have to control it with your thumb, and that was kind of a letdown. They don't make a model that you can control with your index finger, although I really wish that they did. Because I tried this thing, I gave it a good shot, 
I used it a lot, but for me personally, I am not very good at using my thumb to navigate, and I found that it was very, very difficult coming from having used a mouse where I navigate with my finger to having to switch to one where I use my thumb. That doesn't mean that it's a bad mouse by any means, it's an excellent mouse, it just means that I'm kind of stuck in that mode of using my index finger, and so I feel a little bit handicapped. But let's talk about some of the pros. So for example, you're clicking with your index finger now rather than your thumb, so the clicking is going to be much more responsive and much more accurate. So if clicking is very important to you, navigation isn't so much, then having a thumb trackball is probably an advantage. This also fits nicely in your hand and rests nicely on your desk, so it's the most ergonomic option. When I'm resting on this, it feels very nice and comfortable. I don't feel a whole lot of strain when I'm working. Just like the index finger trackball, it also requires less space than your traditional mouse, which you have to move around your desk. This is also wireless. It has a scroll wheel on it, which is really nice. It also has lots of extra buttons and modes that you can program to do different things. The scroll wheel can also be kind of tilted left and right, and you can use it as a middle click, which is nice. Another cool feature of this mouse is that you can switch between different modes or different computers. So I could actually use this for my desktop computer, then I can hit a button on it and it'll actually control the mouse on another computer that can use a wireless mouse, such as my Mobile Studio Pro. So I can work back and forth between two different computers using the same mouse. There's also software you can add to your computer that will let you drag and drop files from one computer to another using this mouse, which is really awesome. Now let's discuss some of the cons of a thumb trackball. When you're using your thumb, it feels a bit more sluggish to move large distances. And as far as using this for drawing hand-drawn art, forget about it. Try drawing with your thumb and only being able to move about this much. It's just not gonna happen. Now I haven't used this long enough to know whether or not this trackball will get clogged with gunk. I also don't know whether or not it comes out, but it does not pop out as easily as it does with the index trackball. So after trying out these three styles of mice, which one is my favorite? It's not this one. This one's just too basic. It doesn't do enough. It requires too much desk space, and if I had to use this on my desk, I would have to completely rearrange everything to accommodate for the mouse. So I would say this one's actually my least favorite. In second place is the MX Ergo. It has a lot of great features, and I really wish that we could just take this ball and just move it right here so I can use it with my index finger. If we could do that, that would be the perfect mouse because I really like that it can switch between different computers. It has the scroll wheel, and it has all these extra configurable buttons. It's very comfortable to use. It also has a nice little thing on the bottom where you can adjust the angle of it so you can put it at different angles if you like. It's an excellent mouse, but it's really a big turnoff that I have to control it with my thumb. So even though it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the MX Ergo, the Logitech Marble Mouse ends up being my favorite because it's the most comfortable for me to work with. I much prefer using my index finger to control the navigation. I don't mind using my thumb to click. I feel like it's ergonomic enough for me. I do wish it had more buttons like the MX Ergo does and that I could switch between different computers. That would be awesome. And if we could just snip this cord off here and make it wireless, it would be that much better. So there you go, the winner of the Computer Mouse Showdown is the Logitech Marble Mouse. I've got a question for you. What style of mouse do you prefer? Do you prefer the traditional mouse, the finger trackball, the thumb trackball, or something that I didn't even mention today? Comment down below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.